Hello and welcome back to Style Optique TV. Today I'm going to share with you five reasons or five signs that you may need to see an optician. Now very often, unlike any other part of our body, our eyes don't actually hurt when there's a problem. There are many eye-related diseases that very often do not show any symptoms at all and rely upon regular eye examinations to be picked up and treated. And likewise, it's not always easy to know whether you need glasses or not. However, there are several signs that you can look out for that suggest that you need to see an optician sooner rather than later. The first one is if you have frequent headaches. If you are getting headaches most days, this could be a sign that you actually need glasses. It's one of the most common signs actually of people who require glasses. If you are long-sighted or short-sighted, and your eyes are not being corrected and you are and they're under strain every day, this can actually cause daily headaches. In rare cases, headaches can also be caused by something called closed angle glaucoma, which is when the pressure in the eye rises up really, really quickly and can cause intense eye and head pain. And also something called anterior uveitis, which is an inflammation of the eyes. This can also cause headaches in and around the eye. Headaches can be caused by something called papilledema, which is a swelling of the optic nerve, which can be picked up in an eye examination. And this this can often be a warning sign of something more serious like a brain tumour or a brain haemorrhage. So if you are getting regular headaches, one of the first things you should think about is getting your eyes checked. The second sign that you may need to get your eyes checked sooner rather than later is suddenly your arms don't appear long enough and you're having to move objects away from you or you're struggling to get objects in focus close up. And this is something you may experience if you are in your early 40s and it's something called presbyopia. And presbyopia is caused by a natural hardening of the lens in your eye and it can start causing issues with focusing at certain distances. And this is the time very often in most people's lives that they need to start thinking about reading glasses, perhaps a, a very focal, or if you are short-sighted, you may actually find at this point in your life that your glasses, which have worked for you for years, for everything, you now may need to start taking them off to read. But if you're noticing any of these symptoms, then it's a sign that you need to get booked in for your eye examination. The third reason you might need to think about having your eye examination is if you are suffering with red eye. Now, red eye can have many, many different causes. Anything from your eyes being a little bit strained and tired from looking at digital devices, right through to really quite serious eye diseases, like like glaucoma or eye ulcers, which can be really, really damaging to the long-term health of your eyes. So if you have red eye that's showing no signs of improving, then do get an appointment booked with your optometrist. The fourth reason to get an eye examination as soon as you can would be if you suddenly notice flashing lights or floaters in your vision. Now, in some cases, particularly as we get a little bit older, floaters in your vision can be quite normal. But if you experience a sudden onset of them accompanied with flashing lights or any visual disturbances it is very very important that you do get checked out at your opticians as soon as you can. Flashing lights and floaters are completely normal, but in very rare cases, they can be one of the earliest signs of a retinal detachment, which can cause blindness if not treated immediately. Fifth reason to have an eye test is if you can't remember when your last eye test was. It's very important that you do have regular eye examinations for the health of your eyes as well as for your vision. And it is recommended that you have an eye test at least every two years. And in some cases, if there is a family history of glaucoma or you are diabetic, then it's important that you have your eye test at least every 12 months. So if you can't remember when your last eye test was, it's time to check your diary and get an appointment booked. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching.